I would like to know what evidence law enforcement has to make them believe that Sebastian went missing from his mother's home. Well, you know, one of the first things I spoke about when I started the show today was one of the procedures you do in a missing person case is the first thing, one of the first things you do is search the house, which would include searching the room of Sebastian. Did they find anything in the room that was evidentiary? Did they find anything in the room that gave them concern? That's uh, that's what I was talking about earlier when I said that. Sebastian, about conversations you might have had with him, things he likes to do, places he likes to go, any people he may have mentioned that are in his life, um, that could be helpful in finding out maybe what he was interested in. Finally, uh, we want to thank the community. We want to thank the media. You guys have been really good about keeping his name in the public's eye. Um, that's really important. Um, and thank you for your diligence in providing that information out there. And as Chief Deputy said, we also want to thank the community. Um, from the very first day, everybody has really been all in as far as whatever they can do to help in the search, to help pass information on. Um, providing water for the, the teams that were out conducting the ground searches. So thank you again to everybody. Um, I'm going to pass it back to Eric Credit. The weather is rolling in. We've got time for some questions. So yes, ma'am. This is an interview with the um, Sumner County Sheriff's Office. Uh, and they're going to now take some questions. There is no evidence to support foul play is involved in the disappearance of Sebastian. But at this point, you don't rule it out. We're not ruling anything out. So five weeks, and you guys covered so much ground, um, searching, going back, researching, um, checked out every case of a possible sighting, nothing confirmed, not a trace of Sebastian anywhere, nothing. I just want to mention uh, the Shack lady, a good question. Regarding a missing child, isn't it a valid reason to pull a warrant to research the home again? A reasonable uh, rule out foul play, especially after a month long missing. The Shack lady, the initial search is not a, um, the initial search of the house is not a search to, dis to discover evidence. It's a search to discover the child. So if they were now going to search the house for, for evidence, they would need a search warrant. They couldn't just search the house because they are suspicious. And we know that the standard of proof to get a search warrant is probable cause. It's the same standard of proof necessary to arrest someone. And probable cause for an arrest is facts and circumstances that would allow a reasonable person to believe that a crime has been committed and the person being arrested committed the crime. So apply that to the search of a home, probable cause against the home, that there's some criminal activity in the home or evidence thereof. So they can't just, if they presented the facts to a judge now and said, oh, this is the home of, of the kid, Sebastian Rogers, that's been missing now for five weeks. We want to search the house. The judge would say, well, what probable cause do you have to, to search the home? And if they couldn't articulate probable cause, the judge would say, well, I'm not writing a search warrant. You don't have probable cause. So I just wanted to point that out. Uh, you need probable cause for a search warrant. Nothing that is uh, taking us to locate Sebastian. And are there any working theories? We come up with theories almost daily and try and investigate and make sure that we're doing everything we can to find Sebastian. Share any of those? No, sir. Two questions, if I may. Have you ruled out Sebastian's mom and stepdad's involvement in this case? And as a follow up, have you cleared their alibi? I think the TBI said it best. They've been nothing but cooperative with law enforcement since day one of this investigation. There is no evidence to support foul play on the part of Sebastian's parents. Is that meeting that interfering at all with your investigation? Is it changing possibly the avenues of communication? No, sir. Okay. 